for entertainment, you gotta be, you gotta move like a dude in the hood that 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 that's on top of his game. For real, you got to move in the same mannerism. You know why? Because you're going from state to state dealing with all these people. I ain't had a real job in 12 years. But almost any state, I can tell you, like the inner poli- the politics, because I, I do the, the all the little bars and shit like that. Yeah. And you got to remember as you get popular, too, you can't just be letting motherfuckers just be talking to you all the time. I know this sounds arrogant, but you can't. Like, you got to have buffers. Hey, your people talk to my people. Yeah. It ain't arrogant. That's business. That's the way it go. See, here's the thing, because they get to talking to you, and they see you, they get too common with you. And that's the thing. You got you gotta, you, you to eliminate that. Most situations, I don't do much of talking. That's I do these videos. And I don't care about no views because I've done other videos that got a whole lot of views. I don't want popularity. I don't like that. I don't like being popular. Who I admire in the rap game is Baby, his brother, Slim. I like Slim. I like the way he's slim. I like the way he navigate. I like the way he politic. I like the way he move. Yeah, don't nobody know nothing, but everybody know about Baby. But they don't know about his brother, his big brother. Cause his big brother, they say was was groomed by a whole different type of crew of people. And then they crew, they don't do much talking. They just take care of their business. Yeah. The reason why the South and the North is different in entertainment is because of that old saying. It's an old saying is in the North, it don't matter how close you get, just don't get too big. And in the South, it doesn't matter how big you get, just don't get too close. And you notice most of you richest entertainers in rap, look, Cash Money, Baby and Slim and all, and Master P. Yeah, you got Jay, but he's a, that's a rare. I'm talking about, it's a lot of them down south. It's a lot of them. They just don't get all that notoriety. They don't get all the notoriety. I'm telling you, the south, it got them, I know, that's, I never neglect my southern. I was born down south, so. I'm always have ties to the South. And what I do like about the South is this. The South will stick together. Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, all of them. They'll stick together on something. That's why a lot of their artists blow up, like Lil Flip and them and a lot of people ain't seen them on the, on a major on a major scale. But they don't need a major scale. When you going from Alabama, Florida, Mississippi, you feel me? Louisiana. Yeah, the South, they, they got their own little market. So that's something that I'm never going to overlook. The Southern market. So like I said, you got to move like a dude in the streets that's on top of his game. For real. Because you're too popular. Popularity is. Yeah, I don't like being popular. That's why I go the other way. When they want me to go to their parties, and all, I don't go to none of that shit. I don't. And can't none of them say they hung out. Only a few say they hung out. And they ain't arrogant. It's just how that's how I am. I'm, I'm taking care of business. You know, I'm taking care of business. So, all the rest of that shit, that's what y'all want to do. That's what you do. I ain't going to knock you. I ain't going to knock you how you operate, how you move. But what what might work for you might not work for me. You know? I like to 
run my business. See this? This. That's all I need. That right there. You don't know what that is? That's all I need. Bam, 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 bam. Yes, I'm creating jobs. All that. Yeah. I always tell the person, Spirit, if you fuck with me, you gonna, you gonna be set. For real, because I'm not no hater like that. I'm not the type of person. Some people want to be the only people shining. Uh-oh, let the church say man. Some people, they want to be the only one shining. No. I want, I want for my, for whatever, I want the same thing for you. And another way I operate. For my employees, oh, let me tell you my one job. My secretary say, why you pay me under the table? I say, because that's where you do your best work. No, but I treat all my employees like people. I don't treat them like employees. Like, if you got a problem with me, they tell me. I don't like this, or I don't like the way you did this, or this and that. It don't mean I'm always going to listen, but I'm saying that door always open. We like that with each other about anything, down to clothes, whatever. And I don't think you should have people in a position to have them scared of you. I think, you know, when you have them to be open and honest, I think that's a better relationship. I don't like yes man. Then I don't like the person that just want to be confrontational just for the sake of conflict. Some people just want to argue, man. I'm like, look, I ain't got, I got somebody to argue with you though. They love to argue. I don't like to debate. I got somebody to debate with you. You want to fight? I got somebody to fight with you too. <laughs> Do whatever you're looking for. I got somebody for that. Me, like I said, I like Slim. Slim just take care of business. All that extra shit, for real. Because like I said before, and I said it again, the kids are suffering because we ain't did what we supposed to do. We supposed to have some type of something established for these kids. And what you got for them? Nothing but a lesson. Or some preachings or some teachings. No, you need substance. You need substance to survive. Yeah, your kids can't eat books. And I ain't come up with that saying. And kids can't eat books. But we understand that we take you need books because things are always changing. Look at what happened to Blockbuster. Everybody remember Blockbuster. And Blockbuster messed up bad. Blockbuster was supposed to buy Netflix and they didn't do it. Now you see, look, Netflix running everything. See what I'm saying? That's business. Look how many businesses shut down. Because you got to always think what might be hot today might be corny next week. The the business is so shallow and shady and iffy and, you know, all that type of stuff. But nevertheless, that's some food for thought for today. You got to take do something for these kids. Because think about it. If you don't, they're going to grow up and mug us. That's what they're going to do. They're going to mug your ass. Because you ain't got nothing to give them. So they're going to go out and take. That's what you're saying. Going everywhere. Kids taking. They t- they're taking gym shoes. They're taking everything. Souls. Man, it ain't just. It's everywhere. Listen to what I'm telling you. Right now, the hottest spot is Philadelphia. Philadelphia is burning hot right now. Yes. Philly. Philly is the hot spot right now. Do this, do your do your homework. Philly is Philly off the chain right now. New York off the chain. Chicago always off the chain. LA off the chain. Alabama off the chain. They clowning in Atlanta. I don't know what you heard. They is clowning. They clowning in Atlanta. They clowning in Florida. They clowning in Jacksonville. They clowning in Savannah. They clowning in Baltimore. They always clown in Baltimore. They clowning in D.C. That's what I'm saying. You, you don't know you because you just doing local. If you get out here and you will see like, whoa, man, they, they, and it's mostly the kids. So why is the kids clowning? Think about it. You ain't gave them nothing. You ain't got nothing to give them. But sell them a dream.